I started lifting weights at 18, but I have been playing sports since I was three. The first sport I fell in love with was bowling. Well, until basketball came along, and I played that up until college. Now, I am learning new things. I've always been into boxing, but never found the time or place to do it. Well, (laughs) until now. What is going on, guys? So, welcome to today's episode, Day in Life in Texas. This is Day in Life in Texas. Uh, I don't know, episode two or three, I'm not really sure, but welcome to Texas. As you guys already know, I've moved here. We've already gone to HEB, and you've seen me move into my apartment. Um, It is absolutely crazy. We've been here for two months now, and things are just rolling and pushing. And so today I went to Rumble, which is a boxing place. It's like a group boxing place. You do some group classes. Welcome to Rumble, bringing half boxing, half strength, and 10 rounds of fire. It's really set for beginners when you're first getting into boxing and wanting to learn. And so we did some strength training today. Four body weight moves and circuits with light, medium, or heavy weights will keep your body guessing and work you from head to toe. As well as, you know, people learning the moves. I knew the moves already, but it was nice to just have an overview and really get into it and stuff like that. Your number and show off those hands. Our exclusive aqua-filled bags are easy on the joints and fun to hit. Um, I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. So that means I'm going to have to get my own gloves so that I can bring my own gloves to the, um, to the, the classes and then uh, get my own towel so that I can have my towel and everything. But I am super excited about doing this. I really wanted to get into boxing for quite a while now so having this opportunity to go to rumble a place that's like 15 minutes away from me and just box it out it's so 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 awesome so much fun and i cannot wait to go to my next class yes i've already signed up for it it is next saturday it's going to be an hour instead of 30 minutes and i really highly suggest you try rumble if you've been interested in getting into boxing or something like that definitely go and try it out the first class is free and it's a 30 minute class you go over everything you do a little strength training and everything and it's just a lot of fun high energy good music i'm telling y'all you gotta try it out if you have a rumble near you definitely go link is down below so you can check it out um but right now we just got home after going to heb getting a couple veggies and stuff like that trying to eat healthier i told you guys we're getting there and so now today rumble again i was super nervous i was like man do i really need to go gina do you really need to go and i was like yes let's go you really want to box i got there i had so much fun my abs are killing me a little bit (laughs) we did some ab work and then you know of course with the punches your abs are are in there and i just had a lot of fun so i'm looking forward to going back um it's all about pushing your boundaries like if you have boundaries and you think like i can't do this you can. You can do so much when you put your mind to it. And I've been really kicking into that, especially when like, I'm working out and my arms are just tired. It's like, no, Gina, keep pushing. Keep pushing. You have like 10 seconds left and then you can rest. And doing it just tells my mind, like, okay, we can do this. We're going to keep pushing. And whatever level, whatever obstacle is next that's in our way, my brain is like, no, nah, if we can do this here, then we can do this over here. So I definitely, you know, Get out of your boundaries, get out of your your mindset of just being like, I have to stay in this box because you really don't. You can do so many different things in life and life can take you in so many different directions as long as you're open to it. So get out, enjoy, and just love life. Like there's so much to do in life. There's no reason not to, you know, go out and enjoy it. Anyway, I'm gonna eat because I'm hungry and I'll talk to you get to uh, ugh. and I'll talk to you guys later. Oh man, do you stick with plump, juicy raisins or try something delicious?
chat is AG1. And we are watching currently Nate run the Leadville 100. And I'm so excited to see if he passes or fails. If you haven't watched Car and Nate, I highly suggest go watch Car and Nate. Because they be doing some crazy stuff and it's pretty inspiring. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy watching it. So definitely recommend their channel. And of course, while he's running, the girl, she had to. My legs have been killing me the last couple of days with all the workouts and stuff. And I have not been taking care of myself very well. So I needed this time to allow my legs to be squeezed and oh man <gasps> forgot one thing yes the knee heaters makes it amazing like <sighs> i don't know what it is but like my back feels great and the mattress i got is amazing oh my god it's so amazing and i love it so the mattress is amazing. Every time, like if my back hurts during the day, as soon as I fall asleep, like I wake up, no back pain. And I have not had that in such a long time. Um, I used to sleep on a very firm, firm mattress. Now it's semi-firm, but it's um, one of those foam semi-firm mattresses. It's a Sealy, it's a Sealy mattress. So if you've ever had a Sealy mattress or laid on a Sealy mattress, you know that they're comfortable, they're good, and like it just really molds to my body. I've been sleeping better. Um, it's just the whole thing of sleeping on time, right? Get to bed on time. I'm still working on that. Nighttime routine is just, oof, it's a little off. But working on doing that because I wanna be able to wake up every day early so I can get things done and then I can just kind of enjoy the afternoon rather if I want to go out and hang out with some friends or if I want to just kind of chill at the house and watch a movie and have some popcorn so I, I'm trying to balance that sometimes the work does either keep me oh oh that one's real tight um sometimes the work keeps me late uh you know the podcast because I will start a lot later than I should <laughs> but it kind of makes sense doing the five to nine after your nine to five is tiring sometimes and so I'm, I'm really learning how to be disciplined of take taking maybe just an hour after I get off of work to do um, absolutely nothing and kind of recover and then get right back into what's or get into what's next because your brain just needs a minute to just decompress you're right so you don't need to go directly into what's next you just need to take a couple minutes to just decompress take that hour to decompress take a nap and then get into the next what you have next and trust me if you even even if you take a nap even though it's later you're doing the five to nine you're going to be tired so definitely definitely you know just get into it but um I'm still learning how to be disciplined on that and so there's times where I stay up later than I need to and and things like that and also just in general my phone mostly it's my phone it's not really the work it's it's sometimes the work but mostly it's my phone and I can't get off of it so I just need to learn like plug as soon as I plug it in don't pick it up again we lay down and most times my tv's not on so it doesn't really matter but um just learning how to just not be on the phone that's what I'm doing but anyway I'm gonna enjoy this and um i'm gonna let my dog out soon again and then that should be exported i don't know i'll probably listen to it tonight if there's any place where i need to edit or anything i will but after this gets exported i am going to then work on the vlog and get that up for tomorrow so a couple more things to do for for today um i don't know it's already like yeah, it's already 4.20. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it back out today, but I was happy to get out this morning and go to the class and, and meet some new people and have some conversations, so that was really nice. Yeah. It is so interesting to see how much your life can change when everything around you changes. Like, when your environment changes, your, life, like your lifestyle changes. Like, it's 
so interesting to see how quickly your body can adapt, how quickly your mind can adapt, and how quickly you kind of put yourself in a, an, in a place where you can be successful in your new environment. And I am starting to see that for myself, you know, after settling everything with the apartment and still getting it together, um, it's taking its time. Uh, but after, you know, settling everything with the apartment and then, you know, settling in and making sure I have everything and still kind of doing that as well. But being able to also just take the time to go out and enjoy and have fun and try new things and see what's in my budget that I can do monthly or and, and see if I'm able to, you know, add things into into what I want to do in order to, you know, just enjoy life more. It's amazing. So, yeah, definitely recommend getting out there, doing what you got to do and and doing things to be successful in your life to be able to do more of the things that you love to do with the people you love. And so if, if you can do that, go out, strive to do it, go after it. Yes, it may look scary. Maybe it's, it's, it's going to be nerve wracking. You might fail. Who knows? But it does not mean just because you fail at something does not mean that that failure isn't taking a step to the next part of whatever you're trying to do. So don't look at your failure as something that's telling you that you're not meant to do something because if you are still able and you still have that heart and you feel like that is your purpose, do it. Go after it. You're going to fail on the way to success. That is life. It's what you do with that failure that makes the difference. So continue to go after it. Continue to get out of your comfort zone. Continue to just go out and enjoy life with the people you love. Truly and honestly, that's really it's really all that matters. Mm -hmm.